Hey there, it's May, which I always think of as okra planting and seeding month. I've been following the Facebook group and it looks like a lot of you guys are already getting okra in containers and some of you in the ground, depending on where you are. Uh, we're definitely experiencing nighttime temperatures in the 40s and 50s, which isn't too bad. And it's been nice and warm during the day and wet. So I'm gonna turn my camera around and show you some of the okra because it's all popping up with this great, great weather. So this is a little bit unrelated, but Southern Exposure Seed Exchange and then some support from Row 7 Seeds and the Nell Newman Foundation allowed me to bring Jordan Collins, who is a helping me as a research assistant for a large okra trial. We have 122 varieties seeded, which is kind of a lot of okra. That's what you're seeing here. And we've done them in these flats that We've talked about transplants before. These are a little bit longer, so I like using them to give them a bit of a root system. Some of the older varieties I wasn't too sure about, so we overseeded and then we go in and thin. And I thin really early so that they don't have any root competition. But you can kind of see, like, these are... We soaked them a week ago, seeded them, you know, five or six days ago. And, and so quickly they form these long tap roots. And again, we've talked about the pros and cons of transplanting. Um, so not, none of these, actually one of these is, would be white, but I forget which one. I should have looked up that before I came out. But there was one thing that I wanted to update you on, which is directly related to what we're all doing. This, oh, wrong around. 121 in our database is listed as would be white question mark. And you can see that would be white question mark is germinating. And that's very question that's very exciting. Uh, I'm going to turn the camera back around to tell you why. Okay, so let me explain why that one row of would be white question mark seeds are so special. Um, many of you may have read this on the landing page of the the would be white okra that I received the seeds that you are all growing from Seed Saves Exchange a couple of years ago and have been selecting for this white pod. And I'm hoping that you guys can all help accelerate that process to getting towards a uniform white pod. And we frame this as a restoration project because the Whidbey White Okra was given to Seed Saves Exchange in the 80s uh, with the knowledge that it dated all the way back in the same family to the mid 1800s but there was a whole lot of missing information about that family heritage and actually originally the the Whidbey white was Whidley white and had been even mislabeled and there was some confusion there and there's no actual physical description of what Whidbey white should look like so we're selecting a little bit blind we're assuming it's a white pod that was showing this kind of stout chunky pod shape and so that's what we're selecting for in the absence of better information a few months ago i decided to do a little bit of like amateur investigation work and managed to track down who i thought was a living relative of the original seed donor and i found a phone number and my wife told me not to do this but i just phoned them up and said hey I'm, I, can i ask you about your family's okra and actually turned out to be an awesome conversation. We, we chatted for over 30 minutes and he filled me in on a lot of the family history. And uh, his, his wife, this, this guy was called Jerry Duran, his wife actually had documentation of their grandmother going back to her birth certificate in the late 1800s. And we're able to further track it back to a guy called Joseph Whidbey in the mid 1800s, who was likely the maybe the original... Uh, keeper of these seeds uh, the historical records could go back further but we, we've struggled to get any precision precision there so this guy joey duran did not have a memory of would be white okra as a name of the okra or a memory of a description of the okra but his father was a farmer seed saver seed grower and was considered like the, the seed keeper within the family he was the brother of the original seed donor to Seed Saves Exchange in the 1980s. So this was a pretty good link, um, but there was still no physical description. And the father of Joey Duran had sadly died a couple of years ago. 
So it felt like a did dead end until Jerry Duran told me that he was living in his father's house and his father had left a freezer full of seeds. And Joey went and looked in the freezer and found some unlabeled okra seeds, which could well be a continuation of this line of this family okra. There's no way to tell until we grow them out. And that's exactly what I just showed you there it was 10 out of the 12 seeds have successfully germinated. And we're going to be able to grow this potentially true line would be white next to the would be white that I've shared with all you guys, which we've been selecting back to this white pod. And if we see any paleness in this new line or anything unique that doesn't say, oh, it's, it's just white velvet or it just looks like Clemson spineless, then we may have like our strongest clues yet to tell us what the true would be white in terms of the family heirloom that's being passed down from the mid 1800s in this same family really looks like. Um, if we get really, really lucky, it's going to look like a short, stubby, white pod. And the job that we have all been working towards this season will will pay off and we'll be selecting this these genetics back on track and we'll have some of the original genetics and we can continue to do the work to reintroduce this family heirloom. So it's kind of very uncertain, very exciting, and I'm continue to be very excited and appreciative that you guys are all willing to be guinea pigs in this grand seed restoration experiment. So thank you all. Uh, I'm loving seeing your pictures of how the okra is doing for you guys. So please keep that up and uh, together we'll have a successful okra season. Thank you.